Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. Now, any time in May. So, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. So, what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May? One card, please. Planning a move. Somebody is planning a move. Could be somebody that you're dealing with. Uh, could be yourself. Got some boxes here. This has something to do with a move. Somebody could be moving in with you. You could be moving somewhere. This definitely has this. I mean, the card speaks for itself. So that is planning a move. Could be anybody that you're dealing with. What do we have for? Could be about unpacking boxes. What do we have for Taurus? King of Coins. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is all about hard work, stability, money, foundations, financial foundations. I feel like we have somebody here that is needing to really focus on their money. This is somebody who has built themselves up. They have built up their financial success. Hard, hard, hard worker here. Very stable. Has a lot, has a lot to offer, a lot of abundance. There is some sort of reward here. Look at there's money bags in this card. This this is a rewarding uh, payout of some sort. If you have been struggling financially, there could be some money that is coming in this month. Your hard work is paying off. There's also somebody, there could be somebody that is moving towards you that is very, very abundant. There could be discussions of a move. What do we have for Taurus? Self-sabotage. Uh-oh. I should be focusing in at any moment. Should be, but it's not. <laughs> I have to go get a new camera and uh, haven't had a chance. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails you, that derails those carefully woven plans. So there's some sort of self-sabotage here. Now, when you saw this flip over, when it immediately flipped over, it was reversed. So I think there's capable, there's, you're capable of success. You're capable of growing things. You're capable of uh, reward, right? You're capable of receiving abundance. But you must be self-sabotaging yourself. Letting others uh, prevent you from achieving your goals. Perhaps this is a time to really focus on yourself. Focus on your money. Focus on your business. Focus on your job. Focus on your stability. Um, focus on yourself. All right. Maybe, maybe for some of you, you maybe you you've had a move that has cost you a lot of money. I don't know. Anyhow, I would say that you need to really focus on on growing yourself, growing your your own uh, 
abundance. That you know, and when I look at that card, I the the King of Pentacles card that I see that you know it's the field of dreams, right? You have you have the skills to be successful, but you have to self stop self sabotaging yourself. It's like you're getting in your own way. Um, and it may have to do with a move or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that back up right. No, I don't know. I think I'll just leave it. It did come out reversed um, when I flipped it, when the card flipped. I feel, I feel as though there's been some poor financial decisions and you may need to ground yourself. Um, you could also be dealing with somebody that is unfaithful. Um, the King of Coins in reverse can represent somebody that is very focused on everything but a relationship. And they're, they're, this is an unfaithful person who may uh, do things, disloyal, do things, you know, that um, are untrustworthy, put it that way. I feel, I, and you may be dealing with somebody that is money hungry. This person is maybe, they're after your money, they're after your, what they can get out of you financially, but they're, this person isn't really looking for a relationship. And you may be choosing not to see it. You notice the hands that are over the eyes. You may be choosing not to see the truth about whoever you're dealing with. Um, this person may want to move in with you or they want you to move. There's something to do with a move here. And I feel like you really need to open your eyes. You need to really consider, you know, whether this is going to build your abundance or it's going to take away. Make sure you're not making a poor financial decision. Maybe you're stable and solid, secure, and you got somebody here that is, is wanting to move towards you that is not. And I feel like you really need to have your eyes wide open. You think about this. I just looked at the bottom. We have the Seven of Cups. That is be careful what you own because what you own owns you. Beware of false beginnings. This is poor choices. It's consequences. You may be dealing with some consequences for poor choices this month. Some of you are engaged with somebody that doesn't have a lot to offer or they're money hungry. It could go either way with the King of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that is more either more interested in their money than they are a relationship or they're interested in your money or whatever the case is. This person is not really interested in love, okay? They're interested in money, period. Or you are dealing with somebody who doesn't have a pot to piss in and, you know, they're coming your way and they want what you have to offer. This could also be your energy where you're making poor decisions and you need to get grounded. You really need to open your eyes this month. Okay, put it that way. The main message I see is to uncover your eyes and see it for what it is. Now, this is trying to do too much, and there's illusion and confusion here. Make sure that you are making the right choices and not based on looks. Look beyond the surface. Look deep. Look really, really, really deep this month. Okay? Um... When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It is that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. Derails those carefully woven plans. There's either you are going to be or you are derailing your 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 carefully woven plans, or there is somebody in your energy that is derailing your plans. And I feel like you really need. To take that mask off that is over your eyes and look at things from the real perspective. So, um, Ten of Pentacles. Whew. Now, Ten of Pentacles is losing it all. That it is short-lived success, it's financial disaster, it's huge loss, it's massive debts, it's overspending right next to the King of Pentacles reversed. Now, this there could be a collapse of an empire here. There could be fighting over money or marrying for money. So I think that you do need to be careful. Uh, five of Wands reversed. King of Cups reversed. 
So we got somebody here that does not have good intentions. This is somebody that is emotionally withdrawn. They are probably disloyal. This is somebody that is not interested in love, okay? They may speak of love, but those are just words, okay? I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is very competitive. Uh, this person is are not emotionally available. They are emotionally withdrawn. They, they, uh, it doesn't look like they're looking for, uh, love, but they, they speak of it and they got you and you may be bamboozled. You may be bamboozled because of the, 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 the hand over the eyes up there. You may, you may be just choosing not to see. And I, I feel like you're dealing with a player. Five of Wands, a competition card. I don't care if it's upright or reverse. You're dealing with somebody that is playing. And you probably need to let go because it's causing some hurt. If you think about the tug of war on the other deck, you know, that hurts. That hurts your hands. It's, it's not easy. I think that you are struggling. There's some sort of power struggle here. I feel like you are in some sort of... Uh, a situation where you're not mastering your emotions, you're not in reality, you're not grounded, and you need to get grounded, you need to get practical, you need, maybe, maybe you need to re really step outside of fantasy land, and, you know, I'm, I'm a Taurus, so I'm not, I'm not, don't, and people can say to me, oh, you don't like Tauruses because I'm giving this message, well, that's a pile of shit, okay, because I'm a Taurus, anyhow, um, I believe that, there is somebody here that you are dealing with that is emotionally unavailable. And this is somebody that is very cunning. This is somebody that is secretive. They hide things. They What you see is not what you get. And I think that you need to be very, very, very careful. Can we deal with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Um, Seven of Wands reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed, and the Six of Wands reversed. And no, my deck is not reversed it is not I, sh I shuffle and flip I shuffle and flip okay um there's an absence of success here when you get reversals and that's why we do reversals to get the true story we're not in fantasy land some of us are or some of us some of you are you know um fantasy land does not exist and I know that most people want to sell it but I'm not here to do that anyhow there's no success here when you get cards in reverse there's an absence of success so we, we have somebody here that is in an unsuccessful situation where there's no victory. There's there, You're dealing with a very cocky, smug individual. This is a one-hit wonder that has probably abused your generosity in some way. I feel like you are dealing, this person is extremely competitive and you may need to admit and step down from this situation. You may need to push this person away because what they have to offer you is not in balance. It's not in, in line with what you deserve. I feel like, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is, um, emotionally unavailable. They are. I feel like this person is uh, a loser, unfortunately. This is a loser. This is somebody who likes to fight. Very combative. Very competitive. Extremely competitive. You're dealing with somebody that is unbalanced. Okay, they're unbalanced. And I feel like they are, they may be costing you some money or they've cost you some time. There's, there's a f loss here. There's financial loss. And maybe that could be you just not mastering your emotions. There is definitely an, a, an energy here, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, where there's an ungroundedness. You need to ground yourself. You need to come back to reality here. Seriously, you need to open up your eyes. Um, I feel like you may be feeling overwhelmed. You may be feeling powerless. There could be a fall from power here. There could be with the seven of wands reversed. It could be a collapse of an empire or some sort of financial loss because of poor decisions that were made out of, uh, you know, emotion. Somebody has made some emotional purchase or they've done something, um, unrealistic due to um, a previous loss. That Six of Wands reversed is some sort of, of wounding, you know, it's some sort of battle, some sort of fight that 
has it ended or it's not ending right now. I think that there could be an argument this, this month, a serious argument. There could be a serious uh, competition between a power struggle between two people that both want control. And I feel like there's there's a high high competitiveness that is financial. There's some sort of materialism here that is getting in the way of success, it, of a successful relationship, a successful partnership. I do feel like um, there is going to be some sort of, well, there's no contingency plan. There's no, there's some sort of financial loss that is coming. And it, I think that it comes from some sort of fight. I mean, we have a fight, fight, fight. So I, I feel like there's some sort of battle that is coming that you're going to have to deal with that involves an individual that is emotionally unavailable. This person is, is probably emotionally unbalanced. And I feel like uh, they're, it's almost like they're picking a fight. They're picking a fight with you. There's There's some sort of overinflated ego here you're dealing with somebody that has a very big 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 ego with want that likes to fight that maybe th may thrive i think there's going to be some tension this is tension this is like uh well and you get the five of wands reversed it could be you know a full-scale battle and i feel like there's, there's there's a point where you get exhausted and fed up and just give up you know you may be like you know what i give up I give up or the person that you're dealing with gives up this is like giving up and I, I don't want to fight anymore I'm sick of the fighting so I think there's gonna be a serious battle here and there could be a move that comes out of it this could be a family feud it could have to do with a family member uh, what I don't know but the ten of Pentacles could be a, a family feud I also there's definitely fighting over money somebody has made some poor financial decisions and there's been and there's no contingency plan and I feel like there's been an ignorance to it and I feel like it's gonna come to a head okay it's really gonna come to a head uh, this month um, hmm. Somebody has bitten off more than they can chew. They have. With an individual that is... I feel like this person is mean-spirited. They like to win at all costs. I don't even need the Five of Swords to say that. Hangman could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think I already said that. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is somebody that is refusing to change. This person is never going to change. They are obsessed with control. They're hiding something extremely egotistical. Um, fighting their inner self. I, I feel like you, this wants to prove something. You've got somebody here that is very, very cocky, that always has a point to prove and it will not change. And I feel like you are going to be struggling with this person this month. I think there's going to be some sort of fight. It's going to be, a, I think it's going to be a big one. And somebody may decide to move. This is like, this could be the end of a legacy, right? Or the... A change in the on the home front. I also feel like there's somebody here that may have been doing something illegal. There's some sort of illegal dealings here. We have an unstable business or home life where I think there's going to be some conflict. There's going to be some tension. And I feel like you've tried. You've been ignoring something. You've been ignoring. There's, unfortunately, there is. I mean, with the hands over the eyes, somebody has been ignoring. It's time to get your life back on track. But I think that you've been dealing with somebody that, you know, you've been allowing them to sabotage your success. And maybe it's yourself. Some for some of you, it's your own self. You need to take back control. I feel like there's some sort of disgrace here. There could be even some public embarrassment. There's definitely financial loss that is probably going to cause a fight or an argument. Four of 
four of wands reverse oh my god so that is like not happy discontent um this party is over this is very very messy and this is a mess that needs to be cleaned up may have something to do with the home so i feel like there is a foundation that is very unstable that is probably uh There's going to be some chaos on the home front, put it that way. The party is over. This party is over. I feel like there's going to be a battle. There is going to be a battle on the home front. And it's a fight over money or spending or something like that. Maybe somebody isn't paying their fair share or they, you know, there's a, there's, and that's, that could be, or somebody has spent too much money or they, they can't afford it or something like that. There is a move on the horizon. There's going to be a change on the home front. Either somebody's moving in with you or they're moving out or they can't afford it. Definitely a poor financial decision about some sort of home or foundation or partnership. It was fun. It was fun, but it ain't fun anymore. Put it that way. This party is over. A change in perspective is needed. There's a need to uh, hold on to your money. Ground yourself. So there could be the end of a commitment here. This is the end of a commitment, like a breakup, a fight that leads to a move. Somebody has definitely made a poor financial decision and it is going to come back to haunt them this month. A message is coming that you don't want to hear. And I'm sorry, Taurus. I really don't like it either. Good luck.